Good morning, Eagles. I'm Cole. And I'm Taha. Today is Tuesday, November 27th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, please remain standing. Teachers, please do a dress code check and send students who are out of compliance to Miss King in the front office. Today, the campus restaurant will be serving chicken or beef black bean or with back beans. Thank you, Eagles, for all of your help in donating food to the GLMS pantry. So many bellies were filled this holiday season through your generous donations. We were able to collect over 500 items to feed our families who are in financial assist this holiday season. Congratulations to Miss Connelly's class for the most items donated. Her second period donated 80 items alone. Our runner-ups are Mr. Reedy and Ms. Daner, second period classes who both donated 50 items each. Wow. Student Council thanks you for your generosity and will be providing your celebratory donut breakfast. What started as an after-school puppetry club has now become one of Millennium's middle school's fine arts and communications manage ma magnet's most popular elective class. Check out this clip for more details. Central Florida students mastering the art of puppetry. Millennium Middle School Fine Arts and Communications Magnet offers the only puppetry class in the state. I've never heard of this. In tonight's Getting Results in Our Schools, Julie Broughton introduces us to a teacher who learned her skills from a legendary puppeteer. Getting Results in Our Schools, sponsored by Crayola Experience. All right, guys, so we're gonna learn like the five basics of puppetry today. Step inside Edna Bland's puppetry class at Millennium Middle School. Why is it your favorite class? Well, I love to express myself and I like to make up skits and improv because you never know where it's gonna take you. And you'll encounter more than a few characters. Mm, well, how you doing? Nice to see you today. Bland's career in puppetry started 24 yeah. years ago when she met Carol Spinney, also known as Big Bird. And I said, I absolutely have to do this. And he said, if you are serious about this, you're welcome to come to the set anytime you want. And I did. Now, what started as an after school club. Hello, I am depressed. Hey, bro, this is my yo, yo, yo cameraman. <laughs> What's up, bro? Yo, bro. Is an elective so popular it has a waiting list. Kids love learning in a fun way. So why not use things like puppetry and art and music um, in order to help them to teach? Pop it up, belly button, eye contact, tilt your wrist, good job. Students learn how to enter and exit a scene. It looks easy, but it's not. It is a lot of technique and work that is involved in it. How to speak clearly. Accent on every syllable. Every syllable. How to make eye contact. So once you have the basic um, techniques down, a lot of it comes really, honestly, from your soul, from the inside. A big part of puppetry is creating a character profile. This is Steve. He's 16 and aspires to be in the military. Well, stay happy, guys. Bye. Julie Broughton, News 6. Well, that's all we have for the day. And, all, and as always, let's soar, eagles.